We have a high profile panel going to join the 9 pm debate Ravi Shankar Prasad, Telecom and Law and Justice Minister Manish Tiwari, uh, former INB Minister Praful Patel, Member of Parliament of the NCP, former Minister uh, Ashwini Kumar, of course, there with us. Uh, Manish Tiwari is joining us, Pawan Varma and Rahul Bajaj. Thanks very much for staying on. We are going to open the debate. Uh, Ravi Shankar Prasad says he's joining us in just a couple of minutes. All right. Uh, R yes, of course. It's like old times. We've got the best panel at 9 p.m. on budget day. Absolutely. <laughs> Rahul Bajaj, are we sounding a little bit like the BJP when we say that or the Congress which keeps <laughs> yes, praising enough. each other? Yeah. Political parties like praising each other. I don't think we should do that. Yeah. Rahul Bajaj, good evening. Welcome. I'd also like to place on record this is the seventh or eighth budget yeah. in which I have had the pleasure and privilege of having Rahul Bajaj on our panel. So Rahul, how do you rate it? How do you rate it? I rated about 6 out of 10. What doesn't work for you? Smaller things. The major things work, as you have been saying on your channel. Uh, uh, we have left populism behind. Fiscal responsibility, 4.1%. Looks very, very ambitious, but he's taken up the challenge. How can you complain? I hear complaints about FDI. I'm not a great FDI person, but what's wrong with that as far as you control it and accept it on your terms? Similarly, I hear some complaints about public-private partnership. There is no way government can do everything on its own, and there is no way private sector, with its, it doesn't have the finances to do billions of dollars of infrastructure, housing, and other things on its own. The only way to move ahead is public-private partnership, but yes, there are crooked Private sector people, government has gone back on its words after getting into an agreement. There are weaknesses in the present model. A new model has to be done. I'm not an expert on that. There are other people who know more about it or not. But uh, I don't see why people are complaining about public-private partnership. It has lost some credibility because things didn't go well all the time. Put it right. But don't throw away the baby with the bathwater. I mean, different distribution tax, they brought in the grossing up provision, 15% has become 17.65. I don't like it. There's no talk of labor reform. Now, it's a very difficult situation. They don't want to lose political capital in the first budget. I understand it, but that's, uh, that's missing. There are smaller things like that uh, about which, like CSR expenditure, we wanted it to be, it's mandatory, almost mandatory, at least allow us as a deduction in income tax not allowed as a deduction in income tax. So there are things like this, which uh, one is not very comfortable about, but uh, even, but they have given us a small benefit. You know, there used to be a benefit of concessional 15% tax on dividends, which companies, we also have a company like that, which received from a foreign subsidiary. In the interim budget, Mr. Chidambaram did not extend it. Now that has been extended and it appears indefinitely. Small point. Right. But Bajaj Auto itself in the first we, quarter has lost we, 40 crores we, by way of additional tax one minute. In, Rahul Bajaj, by like the, we always by do. the Let's get the politicians in. And Ravi Shankar Prasad, you're up okay, against okay, at okay, least go ahead, three on the screen right now. Ravi Shankar Prasad, good to see you nowadays. We, we'll, we'll, it's, it's unfortunate, but we get to speak to ministers nowadays like you only on days like the budget. But, but you are up against three people tonight, Ravi Shankar Prasad. You are up against Praful Patel, number one. Right? You are up against Manish Tiwari, that's number two. Yeah, and you are up against uh, Pawan Verma, who besides being from your state is now also your colleague in the Rajya Sabha. Who do we start with? Let's start with Manish Tiwari because he's been the most unforgiving. He said this budget is high on rhetoric, low on facts or something like that. Manish Tiwari, where does the budget fail you? You begin the debate, Ravi Shankar Prasad responds, we take it forward. But please be factual because all your Congress colleagues who came on Times Now so far have all been very hyperbolic with their words, but on facts, not one of them could pick up this one thing and say, this is what is the falsification of fact, or this is what is fraudulent. Maybe you can do that. Well, I think, uh, Arnab, that's a compliment to your channel that uh, if people have learned the art of hyperbole, you know, then uh, Times Now has been a good teacher, but be that as it may, 
I think uh, this budget has been uh, very high on rhetoric and it has been very low on delivery for the simple reason that if you were to step back and uh, look at the budget in its entirety, what is the big picture? What is the big takeaway? What is the uh, roadmap which they have laid out uh, for the economic trajectory of this country? In fact, uh, the budget does not give you any indicators at all. And so therefore, if you want to get into specifics, let's look at the total quantum of expenditure. The total quantum of expenditure is about 17 lakh crores. Out of 17 lakh crores, if 15 and a half lakh crores is revenue expenditure and only 2 lakh uh, 26,000 odd crores is going to be the expenditure uh, uh, is, is going to be the capital expenditure where are you going to expect growth to pick up that is number one number two you know you no, no, talk sorry, about but did this, uh, did this figure appear in the last 45 days no, no. Navika, no, did this figure appear suddenly in the last 45 days Navika has a point to make one second Navika one second Navika I am very not briefly. saying I am not I am not one second allow me to complete yes, allow me to uh, complete Mr. Mr. <laughs> Manish Tiwari if it was if it was 45, uh, uh, 4.5 lakh crores, that was capital expenditure out of 17 uh, uh, point, uh, uh, nine uh, lakh crores uh, in, in uh, uh, Mr. Arun Jaitley's budget. The, the figures were similar in your budget. 16.6 uh, 16, 16 uh, lakh well, crores so is what your expenditure was and total planned expenditure uh, 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 was capped at only uh, uh, 11 uh, no, no, so, so, so one minute, you lakh want, crores. You so want so the numbers Navik, are Navik, exactly Navik, Navik, Watch it, watch it. Manish Tiwari, since we Nothing Pravika, changed in 45 days. Manish Tiwari, would you like to, to take complete. that back? Allow me to complete. You, you, I am not going to take anything back. I have not even said the first sentence. You know, and you have jumped out of your skin. The because the facts, point I'm trying the to facts make are the to same in your tenure, sir. No, the facts is correct. The, well, the facts may be the same in our tenure. You have analyzed our tenure. You have analyzed our budget, you know, tooth and nail for, uh, for the last 10 years. So therefore, insofar as our budgets are concerned, you know, they've been analyzed and discussed to death. What we are discussing today... So, but that's probably the weakest the argument you begin with. Government. And when you, when you, when you, when, well, I think that's the strongest argument because when you talk about spurring one growth, one, one sec, where strongest is that argument. spurring of growth going to come from? <laughs> okay, so, response, so, 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 please. Therefore, no, response. Therefore, Ravishankar Prasad, Prasad growth, is responding. The, you, you, you know, Praful well, Patel allow, raises his hand. One second. Allow me to, Ravishankar, no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll get everyone in. I'll get everyone in. I'll get everyone. There are a lot of panelists. I just want to ask Praful Patel. One second. One second. Praful Patel, I see your hand go up there. My question to you, Praful Patel, is this. Would you like to come in after Mr. Ravishankar Prasad's response on the first point or you want to add to that one? No, let me. I'll just add. I think, uh, uh, you see, 45 days is too short a time, so let's not preface with all this, except that people's expectations are very high, built more by the government and the media rather than by any one of us. The 4.1% fiscal deficit, which Mr. Arun Jaitley has said he will achieve this year, I think is a bit too ambitious. Because the 4.5% which Mr. Chidambaram achieved last year was on a contracted economy. And that's what something, you know, uh, Manish, though we were in the government, I must say that the last one year, we had to shrink the size of the economy to be able to manage the fiscal deficit. And if Mr. Arun Jaitley is now talking of 4.1%, it's laudable in terms of the intent. But to, re to achieve that, he will also have to probably, he won't be able to grow the economy as much as is being promised in the budget. The intention right. of the budget is good, but the achievement in the next one year, I really am, you know, I, I doubt very much whether he's being, going to be able to achieve those numbers. So the 4.1% fiscal deficit is something achievable, but is it going to be achievable on a a bigger economy or on a shrunken economy is something Ravi which Shankar I think Prasad's Mr. Ravi turn Shankar Prasad, you can throw Ravi some light Shankar Prasad's turn to respond. By the way, our panelists then will give their opinion on where the debate is going. One second. Ravi Shankar Prasad, your turn. You've seen the two points come your way. I won't, I won't recap them. Arnold, it's nice to be back with you after such a long time. You never invited me. Don't complain I didn't come. <laughs> you you forgot me or no? Come on. Oh, come. <laughs> uh, or no, coming to the basic uh, coming to the basic issue, I don't expect my good friend Manish Tiwari to appreciate the budget. That will be a long order, isn't it? One set of congressmen are saying that this budget is a replica of their budget. Some are saying it is absolutely an utopia. Well, that is their right. Today, as a minister, I am not going to quibble. But what is the road map of this budget or no? 
you can have growth without equity but to have real genuine equity you need to supplement with that growth that is the basic mantra of this budget and for growth to come about you need to enlarge the base of indian economy you need to push manufacturing you need to give more employment you need to push infrastructure development and that is what this whole budget is about first of all the intention are very clear be in the field of infrastructure i don't want to go what happened in the economy i have we have talked about that ad nauseum on growth uh, manufacturing going in minus man, uh, infrastructure coming to a standstill still earlier today i am not going to repeat it but just to give you three four instances 37000 crore for national highway program 14000 crore for rural connectivity port development and or no i want to tell you something very interesting and i want to share with your viewers i am also handling it and electronics electronic uh, import in india today is worth 100 billion dollars by the year 2020 it will become 400 billion dollars and the import bill will cross the fuel import bill this budget we had insisted gives a lot of benefit for inward duty structure other start up industry initiatives funds for them and let me tell you india is at the cusp of big electronic manufacturing revolution we can give jobs to more than 2 crore people the it part of it the rural infrastructure part as far as nabard more empowerment is concerned the defense opening up defense 49% we take our all weapons from outside at times under brokerage today indians can make trucks they can make tractors why can't they make weapons if they are launching satellites from india that is the larger vision of this budget good governance a stable fiscal policy transparent decision making process and an enabling atmosphere for the enlargement of economy that is the basic thrust of this whole all right uh, all right ravi shankar like ravi shankar say. prasad and i want to ask my more. panel no, 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 i'm no, going no, to come no. to you I'm going to come to you. I'm going to call. I'm going to ask my panel one question. We've seen the debate so far, gentlemen. My question to you is: You watch these eminent men on our on our budget super prime time. Do you think the opposition, Omkar Goswami, Meghna Desai, Sanjeev, do you think the opposition is being able to come up with a convincing enough argument? As of on, now, as, do you as think they are the only person yeah, yeah, okay, who yeah. has, in my purely professional opinion, the only person who I think has said in the among the politicians, spoken sensibly. is uh, is my good friend who uh, uh, is my good friend from maharashtra i no, agree no, no, no. so so you're so saying the opposition is not being able to make convincing arguments i, I have not no, heard what he's saying no, is what, patel. what he's saying is to which i agree that mr praful patel praful is, is the only in, person in, only person who has in, spoken in sensibly pointing out that you know that the 4.1% is a difficult one to achieve is a very ambitious he has spoken sensibly it is also is also saying the same thing that mr jetly said himself so you are saying the, the opposition is the losing rest, the debate the rest tonight. is verbal so not this i one second i'm 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 not setting this up but our panelists believe and i don't that the opposition is losing the debate tonight magna this i would say you i think by and large so the opposition for the sake of opposition, of opposition at all, all. I, I by and large so it's sir sir one second sir mr 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 a failing of many other parameters which i can't expect the government to set so praful that's why several of us say that your critics your critics make sense the others have no all that the opposition is saying would not have changed had they not had the budget you know hearing the budget has made no difference to the way they reacted you you are saying manish tiwari had a prepared argument he meditated responses oh you think so sanjeev do you no, think I, manish tiwari th had a slightly meditated response tonight i have a slightly different point i mean i think it's very interesting that the two ministers who came on uh, made a stronger case for some of the things in the budget like for example the business about uh, infrastructure investment which i was actually frankly quite surprised the finance minister almost underplayed in his own budget point so i thought it was quite interesting <laughs> that you had the two ministers come and actually make a far more aggressive selling yeah. of all the good stuff that's in the budget which uh, which is almost hidden in, you know, in the I'm, budget I'm itself i'm getting a little tired of saying this no. since 7 o'clock today since 7 o'clock i have been hawking the idea i have been hawking shamelessly hawking the idea pawan varma as i welcome uh, you into the debate come destroy the government's point of view destroy the government's point of view because they've been drum beating the fact that they've done the perfect balancing act after 10 years of bad governance can you do that pawan varma floor is yours 
and it's three versus one tonight. Now, Arna, first of all, let me congratulate Mr. Arun Jaitley on his first budget as a finance minister. And we wish him well because the country needs the best. I want to say that the fault perhaps of those who have reservations on this budget is ours because our expectations were more and these expectations were raised by this new government including most flamboyantly by its slogan Achche Din Aane Wale. Compared to these expectations, Arnav, I'm sorry to say this budget is tokenistic, it's half-hearted and it's exceptionally lopsided and I'll give you just two or three examples for your panel. For your panel, Ravi, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad finds it amusing, but yeah, actually it's quite away. serious. Why do I, why do? Uh, I know, I, 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 I'm glad that he finds this in, uh, humorous, but let's, let's just look at some facts. I'll give them at, ran, at random. First of all, in this budget, there has been inexplicably for me such a almost institutional neglect of agriculture. There has been the talk ah. of a green revolution, Arnab. You allocate 200 crores for agricultural universities. You allocate 56 crores for agricultural research, which is the backbone of a green revolution, because 65% of your country's people live in poverty of agriculture. You allocate 50 crores for cattle and livestock. And you allocate 200 sir, crores sure for the, the building of a statue. Which are you is, sure? Uh, are you sir, sure? I'm quoting from the budget. I'm quoting. Sir, I quote from sir, the budget for you. No, I quote from the budget for you. 5,000 crores corpus of rural I'm infrastructure quoting. development fund for creation of infrastructure in sir, agriculture and rural sectors. One, two, I, one second. I, I, Wheat I, and sir, rice at sir, reasonable sir. prices to weaker sections of society. Let two, me. three, agricultural credit raised to 575,000 crores. Target sir, by agricultural credit. Incentivizing sir, agricultural sir, research, the, sir, you, are, you missed all that. You missed all that. Fertilizer subsidy, so what's not you missed all that. Sir, you missed everything. Now, now because has more. 73,000 crore let, worth of let, fertilizer let, subsidies, 1,15,000 crore worth of food subsidies, 63,000 <laughs> crore worth of petroleum subsidies. Ignored. All of these are there in the budget too, Mr. Pavan You want to take that back? You want to take that back? Let me finish. Let me finish. No, I do not wish to take it on back subject. because I want to say to you. And three percent. I want to say. To okay, you he's not taking. Let him. Let him continue. These are. These are not. Let me finish. You know, this is not a fair discussion. Then, these are not new policies. We were looking for something which can kickstart a green revolution in agriculture, and one example of that is. 1,000 crores has been allocated for irrigation in a drought year when 50% of the country is dependent on the vagaries of the monsoon. And when I say... 1,000 crores is only on Ganga cleaning. What are your figures? No, 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 let him speak. Let Ravi Shankar speak. Sir, let me finish. 30, 30, let me finish. Sir, I am taking them from your budget, sir. 38,000 crores the budget spent on national highways. Sir, it's a very good... It's a very good priority. When I say it's lopsided, all I want to say to you is, it is particularly lopsided in terms of its holistic vision, overarching regional disparities. The ah. least developed states have huh? been over. I knew that was greatly. coming. What? <laughs> the industrial corridor, the industrial corridor is in the west. It's not a laughing matter, Arnab. No, I'm not laughing. For instance, if you want, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, no, it's a very serious matter. Bihar alone has 110 million people. There is West Bengal. 